Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to mask the phone number. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So if you have ever been to any other website, okay, there's a login and si log login page, right? And there's a username and password. So when you enter the password, it's usually masked at the start. And as soon as you click on the I icon that is available, as soon as you click on that, the password, you can see the password. Okay. That's a show password icon. You can see the password. And again, when you click on this icon, the password again gets masked. So that's what the same thing we are going to do with the phone number. As per as our requirement, what we want to do is we don't want any, any other person should be able to directly able to see the phone number. So that's what is the requirement. You can see, you can use the same application in the login page as well. So let's jump to the video. Now, what I want is the basic agenda is like, let's say I'm going to put some kind of phone number over here, right? Now phone number is visible. The reason it's like, for an example, let's say I'm going to take something. I'm going to put something else. Is it going to take? Okay, fine. Uh, let's say I'm going to take at the rate or something. Okay. It's taking. Okay. Now the reason it's able to take any kind of input is the re the reason is because the type, right? The type of this input box is phone. Okay. If I make it password, okay. If I'm going to make it password, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. If I'm making password, if you see the phone number is getting marked automatically. So somehow I have to write a logic that on the click of the button, the type should be changed to phone or either the type should be changed to password. So that's what is the basic agenda behind it. Okay. So for that purpose, I'm going to create the lightning icon, which would be a I icon uh, at the bottom of this uh, password, uh, or we can say phone number icon. Okay. So I'm just going to make it as phone number now. Okay. And I'm going to create a lightning icon over here. Okay. Now the icon name should be utility preview. It's preview. Okay. Now that is done. We need to also provide the class to it so that it just appears better. Okay. And the SLDS hyphen button input underscore underscore icon SLDS hyphen text hyphen color hyphen hyphen default okay so this is done now on the click i have to also add the on click right so alternative text let's add it as uh, show password okay and next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply an on click okay and let's name it as handle on handle uh, show password okay so what i'm going to do is for this input time i'm going to create a variable okay let's name it as input type okay and by default it would be password and i'm going to refer the same input type over here not copied okay so what i did was i created an input type which value of this input type is password by default okay and i've referred the same input type over here now what i'm going to do is next thing is that using this handle show password i'm going to show or hide the uh basically i'm going to show or hide the pa password okay now to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to again create a variable let's name it as show password okay the value of this password will be false okay by default it will be false so now if this dot show equals to equals to let's say it's false okay i am going to make it okay sorry i'm going to make it true else if it is true i'm just going to make it false so what's going to happen is that if uh, 
if okay it's going to be false so if it is false okay this means show password would be equals to false then i'm going to make it true and if it is true i'm just going to make it back to false okay that's what we are going to do and also along with that i'm going to use this type of field right? input type i'm going to change the type so if it is false by default okay this means i am clicking on the icon okay i want to see the password the user must be able to see the password so for that purpose i'm going to change the input type again back to phone okay else the input type would be password okay so we are over here till this point let's move on to the next part okay let's save it mm. okay sorry okay now uh, what's going to happen is that uh, this is the icon okay that will be available to us now as soon as user is going to click on the icon okay so initially the input type that is referred over here is password okay input type is password now as soon as user is going to click on this uh, what we call it as this handle show password okay this variable will, by default was false okay now if it is by default false if it was previously is false it will become true and we will be able, the input type would be changed to phone so as soon as the input type is changed to phone the variable of the, the value of this variable is changed to input type equals to phone the input type of this would become phone this line number 10 this will become phone and automatically you will be able to see the number and again if user clicks on this button okay right now the value of this show password is true okay as it is true it will go inside the else and it will make the variable as false and also the input type would be equals to password so again it will be maxed so now let's move on and let's refresh and check okay the icon is visible to us i'm going to click some password inside it okay if i click on it i am able to see the password if i click again again on it then it is gone so what's actually happening at the back end right now the input type is by default password as soon as i'm clicking on it this is become this previously was false as it is false it's just showing the input uh, as it is false it will go inside the if condition it will make this variable true and input type will be changed to phone as soon as the input type is changed to phone you are able to see the number okay but now let's say again i'm going to click on this icon right now the show password variable is equals to true right so it will go inside the false uh, else condition and it will make this variable false and also the input type will be again changed to password masking the phone number so this is how you can mask the phone number the same application can be applied in the case of the login page if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel